Hi Aquarius, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is going to be your overall overview, okay? If you're new, you're welcome. And if you are returning to the channel, I welcome you guys back. All right? You know your diamond shine bright like a diamond. I'm going to get into a prayer, y'all, because we do pray here on the channel. Um, and pull in your overall read right after, okay? So let's pray. And this is also going to be a, a love reading, but whatever comes through does find its way through. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I said to bless myself and I said to bless my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge of this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, so Aquarius, this is a general reading. It is not a personal one, so it may or may not resonate with you guys. Please take what does resonate with you. And leave the absolute rest to the universe, okay? Just let the universe take care of it. You know, it's not yours. It's just not yours, honey. All right? <clears throat> because it's a general reading, you can pick up your person's energy, past, present, or future. Even for the cross watchers who are watching, this one could also be for you as well, okay? Um, personal readings are available on the channel. You can always connect with me. Using the information that I have provided for you guys in the description part of the video to schedule an appointment for a personal reading, okay? All right, Aquarius, let's see what angels have for you today. Okay. All right, so there's definitely a relationship that is coming through here. All right, so let's target this relationship and see what angels are gathering for you guys okay but there's a strong relationship that's coming in and it seems like two people are really happy here so let's see all right so angel is saying that there's some form of a healing that is needed in this relationship okay it's either coming or you guys are presently dealing with this situation that is needed in this relationship okay um it's, it's basically called a storm warning um, for some of you, uh, you maybe have went through this storm warning. Um, you presently are in the middle of this warning, or maybe it's coming. Um, but it's definitely calling for healing here. Tell me more, please, for Aquarius in love, please. All right, roll the dice. Ooh, so it's a give and take type of a thing here. It's a maybe, win some, lose some here. Give and take. There's no winners here in this situation, Okay. I feel like you've made mistakes. Your person may have made some as well. Um, you're just going to have to know that it won't be 50-50. But at the end of the day, there's a feeling of two people who are trying to diligently work things out here. Tell me more, please, angels. Tell me more. What do I need to share with Aquarius? Aquarius, what I'm getting also... Is there is a magnetic attraction between you guys, all right? So you guys are really feeling each other, um, vibing with each other, enjoying each other's company, um, really resonating with each other's touch. But there's something that might have changed or there's change that is needed, okay? So that is what I'm seeing that's coming in. Let's go ahead and clarify these messages here. Let's clarify these messages here and see. What's coming through for you guys here? All right, angels, let, let me have past, present, and future, please, for Aquarius. Let me have the past, the present, and the future for Aquarius, please. Right, so, Chris, we have the Four of Cups, the back of the deck. The Four of Cups being in the back of the deck, I really feel like there's some kind of a decision that's going to be made or someone is thinking about making one based on how you're feeling right now with your person. Um, there's definitely love here between you guys, and I feel like someone is willing to try to work things out. 
However, I feel like because um, something has changed here and I feel like it made kind of a, a shift in the atmosphere, I do feel like someone is not feeling more quite pleasant here. Okay, maybe for some of you, you're still feeling like it's not a 50-50. Um, it's like you're putting in the effort and you're maybe saying, I'm sorry, a person is not accepting this. Um, but there's still love here. There's still love here, but there's a, a feeling of needing to really work things out here with each other. And having things flow at a mutual understanding, but someone is willing to try here. Now, in the past, as far as you guys' connection is, um, what I what I do see here is the Lover's card. The Lover's card, the Strength card, and the Seven of Swords. All right, in the reverse. Um, I'm feeling like, you know, you might have ran into a feeling of toxicity, even though, you know, there's love here. Your person does love you, but there could have been some kind of a third party that played a part here in your relationship. Um, it feels really toxic to the point where angels might have stepped in, or this could be just you and your person overall in general, that is really starting to have your relationship flow into a different direction of toxicity. Okay, um, let's just say angels are not happy with the way things have been going lately with you guys, okay? And then, this is where your strength had either been tested here in the past, um, but angels are letting you know that you have the ability, um, is what I'm seeing here, Aquarius, to really change things for the better here. Um, because you have like a calling, spiritual calling here, they could put you into the lines then and you could calm a million lines here. This is what I'm seeing. This is what you need to know. You have a spiritual calling on your life to be able to transform a situation into the way that you would so please at a spiritual level, okay? And see, because you've dealt with a seven of swords here, you were able to kind of turn and flip things around here. Um, You've definitely felt like your relationship came towards you with some kind of a lie. Something changed. Like I said earlier, something changed in the atmosphere, okay? The seven of swords in the, in the reverse. Uh, you dealt with us like you felt like your person was very being very sneaky and very tricky. You even felt like your person might have taken something that wasn't theirs, okay? That could have been your peace of mind also because we do have rolled the dice here. Um, Maybe you felt like they wasn't given, Okay. And so now you're about to make, you know, you, you, you thought about making a decision in the past about how you felt about your relationship, okay? Um, and what I do see here um, in the present is the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles being here, the World Card being here in the reverse, and the Six of Pentacles also in the reverse. And then we have the Knight of Swords. I do feel like there's a shift here where your person... Remember we talked about, uh, and we mentioned this twice, y'all, okay? The roll the dice. Roll the dice is where I'm getting back the six of pentacles. It did come in the reverse. Rolling the dice is definitely where you felt like someone was definitely um, given uh, half, not half and half. It was very unbalanced. This is where I felt like you was given a lot here to the relationship. This could have been them. This could have been you because that could be saying he or she or you or him and it rolls the dice in the reverse, Okay. But someone was really putting in the effort here to trying to have their situation really set in stone or like maybe really trying to balance a situation out because um, of love, okay? Because of how you really felt about your person, you wanted to save your relationship. So you did the best that you could in investing all that you can in your relationship, okay? But on the other hand, it, 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 you know, you felt like you weren't being given exactly. You, you, for some of you, just plain old-fashioned felt unappreciated is what I'm seeing here. With the world card being here, you definitely um, felt like you were caught between a rock and a hard place because you felt like you might have to move on from this person because they were kind of coming in towards you all of a sudden. This, this change that happened. It's like something just... Um, Something just happened overnight, y'all, okay? Something just happened overnight, and you just felt like, you know, I just can't believe this. Where's this coming from? Did I do something to provoke this? Um, What happened to my magnetic attraction between my person and I? All of a sudden, this person is being very aggressive, they're hard to deal with, coming into drama, on top of drama, and it just really didn't sit well with your energy as far as what I'm seeing here. This is where your strength card came in in the past. Now, also what I'm seeing here, okay, in the present, what's coming in and towards you. 
because there's a lot of things that you are dealing with at this present moment and this called change, I do feel like, you know, and it, you're going to be blocking a lot of things here. You're going to be blocking the feeling of um, someone still trying to figure themselves out. This is what I see you doing. You're making a decision. The decision is coming where you're going to be putting an ending to certain things because you're on a manifestation game right now. You're about taking care of you. You're about that self-love. You're about that self-care. You're just about transforming, transformation. This is what I see you getting prepared for um, in the future. A lot of blessings here. And with that blessings come a renewal of faith because you're releasing anything that you have held on to for so long, okay? Even though there's love here, even though, you know, you really don't want to walk away from your person, but you feel like you're definitely carrying a lot of the responsibility here. And right now, you just want a, a, a mission of happiness where you just want to set goals for yourself and be happy. And you're praying and hoping that, you know, through all of this period, this change, the steps that you're taking, that your person will definitely kind of wake up and smell the coffee here and kind of see things for what it really is. But again, that you cannot force the unforceable. They will have to want to change the situation on their own, okay, without pressure, okay? So this is going to be your read um, today, Aquarius, and I hope that it did resonate with you guys. Please do not hesitate to give your read a thumbs up because it does help to support the channel, okay? And then if you need a prayer request, you could always ask me for one down in the comment section. Just remember to pray for me as I'll be praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.